This is the third video about patient dashboards. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can download our modified patient dashboards uh, and also how you can modify those a little bit yourself. So here we're on the Open Dental page here for Donald Duck. And if we look up here, and go to the dashboard setup, you can see we don't have any dashboards set up already. Here's two of them that Open Dental made. And what you do if you want to use these is simply click on them and move it over here. Make sure this has an X in there so you're allowed to see that. Okay, this was the setup. We go back here again. And now we have this dashboard that we can look at down here. Okay, that's one of the open dental ones. All right, let's show you how to get the ones that uh, I created. I'm going to go to our website. Now, notice this is todaysdentalconsulting.com forward slash patient dash dashboard. Make sure you get that dash in there or it's not going to work. And you can see our videos on here, but this is the link I wanted to show you. So if we click on this link, it's going to download that zip file right down here in the corner. And in most cases, that will go to your download directory. So let's go look and downloads. Okay, and there it is right there. So you want to unzip this. Now you can unzip this anywhere that you want, but you might as well just do it in the downloads. So I'm going to right mouse click. I'm going to say extract all. Yours may be a little bit different, but probably pretty close. So there's my three files. Remember, those are in the download and then the TDC dashboards uh, folder. So let's go back to Open Dental, and we want to install those. Now, these are kind of modified sheets, and they work uh, really a lot like sheets do, but they're stored in a different place. So if we go to Tools again, normally for sheets, we'd go to Setup and Sheets. We're going to Tools, Patient Dashboards, and I want to go to the Setup. And then down here at the bottom, it has Tools. So Sheets, very similar, does the same thing. Okay, And I'm going to go here, and I'm going to import them. Now I'm going to have to browse to my download directory to the TDC dashboards folder. And there's my three uh, sheets. So let's just do them in order. I'll click on this and it imported it. Now I have to go back and do the same thing for those other two. And of course it doesn't remember where you were. That's kind of inconvenient. And here's the second one. And that's imported. And now we're going to do the third one. So now we imported all three of them. You don't see them here yet, but as soon as I close this, you will. You've got to make sure that you click in here so they're allowed, so they will show up uh, when you want to switch dashboards. Okay, so I'm going to say okay. Then I'm going to go back here to Tools dashboards and now I have these three possibilities down here as well as the open dental one that we looked at before and again my favorite one is the full so this is considerably wider okay that's how you install them how do you modify them so I'm gonna to go to tools I'm gonna to go to patient dashboard and this time I'm gonna to go to dashboard setup here. Now I'm going to move this over a little bit and I'll show you why in just a second. So I'm going to double click on this guy and now I can edit this. I'm going to move this over also so I can still see these things. One of the problems with sheets is you can't really see the changes that you've made. You can kind of guess but you can't really see them until you get done and go and save it, close it, then go to one of your sheets and open dental for a patient and open it and see what the sheet really looks like. Uh, so that's kind of a hassle. If you look here, you can see that this is not really fitting in the box, but it does fit in the box over here. So there's kind of weird things like that. But let's modify this. Now you can go in here and double click on this and open this. And here's all the possibilities, all the merge fields that you can put in there. And you can change anything that you want here. If you want to put the work phone in there and so forth, that's how you do it. 
and you can say OK. Now let's let me change one. Let me just take this out. And the way you delete that whole thing out is double click on that box and then say delete. Okay. And now the contents of that box, the rectangle is still there, but the contents of the box is missing. So it's watch over here now. Okay, that used to say treatment plan now, but when I say okay, that disappeared. Okay, that's how you modify it. The reason I moved all this stuff over to the left-hand side is so you can kind of see what's going on over here without closing everything uh, and backing clear out and then going in again. So that just makes that a little bit easier. Be a little bit careful about changing the fields in here, though. Uh, the best thing to do is simply to duplicate this. So I like this, but I want to make some changes. Go down here and duplicate it. Okay, now I have another one and I can work on this one and I won't mess up the first one. Now once you get this the way you want it, you can go up here to edit properties and change the name to anything that you want up here. So that's how you download those, you unzipped them and then you imported them using the tools but instead of going to set up in sheets where it has a similar thing, it's also got the similar tools down here and so forth. These are kind of a special kind of sheets. So these are a little bit different. And you work with them in tools, then patient dashboards, and then dashboard setup over here. So that you can work on these different things. Okay, hopefully that's helpful.